Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 card review. Here to review a card coming in the new Challengers. July 19th. What we're looking at here is Solemn Advice. And it is a counter trap card. Description. While you control no other set cards in your spell and trap card zone, when a monster or monsters would be summoned or when a spell and trap card or monster effect is activated, pay 3,000 life points to negate the activation or negate the summon or activation. And if you do, destroy that card. So obviously this is supposed to be the incarnation of solemn judgment first he was warning people then he's put judgment down upon them and now he's giving motherfuckers advice hooray solemn but but yeah like obviously this is solemn judgment this is basically like the reincarnation of solemn judgment it's like solemn judgment was too damn good they limited it. It was still too damn good because, like, you're always going to have half life points. Like, you're always going to be able to cut your life points in half. Let's just get that out the way. And it stopped too much for something that cut your life points in half only. So, after limiting it, that card wasn't enough. They ended up banning it. And now this is that card. This is pretty much like the second coming of that card. Hallelujah. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, so at least this time with the card, there are certain conditions that have to be met, and you can't just activate it on a, on like a whim to stop anything. Like, you can't have no set cards in your no other set cards in your spell and trap card zone, which would give it away that this is like the fucking card to like the card that's going to be set. Like, you can't have any other set spell and trap cards in your is filling trap card zone meaning that you can't activate or that you can't set multiple cards like multiple multiples of these cards like you, you can only set one at a time if you want to activate it and even then like you have to pay 3,000 life points so there's a definite number that has to be paid and they made sure that you know if you're gonna gain a lot from this card then you're gonna have to lose a lot now it doesn't seem like you know 3,000 life points is much compared to paying half your life points but it actually is you know worst case scenario when you play solemn judgment like you would do it while your life points was at max and you would lose 4,000 which is a big loss but at the same time it's worse than that because now there's a set number that you have to pay opposed to just paying half so this card it hurts you more in the long run so now instead of being safe in late game thinking that you're just going to pay half your life points and just be able to you know uh negate anything now you got to uh ask yourself whether or not that 3000 life points are worth it you know you know, like this card isn't as safe as Solemn Judgment was. And with with them trying to balance it out, I think they finally got it. You know, I think more people will be more hesitant to play this than Solemn Judgment anyway. So, not saying that people won't play it. Because, like, that would be foolish. But people absolutely are really going to have to put more thought into playing this than Solemn Judgment. Like, this isn't one of those cards that you can just throw in there. If your deck de depends on a back row, then obviously you, you won't be able to play this as easily as Solemn Judgment. But if you're not worried about a back row too much, then yeah, this is a card that you can throw in there. So... So yeah, man, so link to this card is going to be in the description. You guys can check it out, and I will see you for the next card review. Peace.